So we're going to get to uh, the multi-user hand tracking. So this is, again, your goal. This is what you want to do. You want to have multiple people being able to see the hands of the other person, um, being able to see your hand, and then being able to do uh, interact with each other's hands. So very briefly, in this project, uh, we've used uh, Photon 2 networking. And if you're working for Terra Reality, you're already familiar with uh, Photon. So this is more or less how uh, Photon works. So you have two players. So this, the screen on the left is one Oculus Quest. The one on the right is another Oculus Quest. You have player one, you have player two. And what player one is actually seeing is a clone of player two. And what player two is seeing is a clone of player one. So when player one does something, uh, like moving my hand up five centimeters, Fodon actually is going to send a message to tell a player, to tell the clone of player one to mimic that action. So the clone is actually going to move. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, the second player is going to see. In, in a lot of our multi-user experiences, that's what we're doing. Uh, we send the position and the rotation of our hands and the head. Now, the logic is very similar for hand tracking, except that now you need to send a lot more data. So again, it's, it's all about the bones. We're going to be sending the data of our bones. So everything comes from the OBR hand component. Now, the OBR hand component is also an uh, IOBR skeleton data provider. And it, it has a struct which has all of the data regarding the bones, and it looks like this. The root post has the position of the transform and rotation of the hand itself, the scale. This has a list of all the all 24 rotations of your bones. And this is more, more or less how uh, uh, how that data flows in a single in a single user experience. This is how the data flows. So you have your OBR hand uh, collecting that data into its own struct. Uh, it's going to be receiving the data from the cameras, uh, populating that. Then the OBR skeleton is going to ask the OBR hand to uh, receive that data. So the data provider is actually the OBR hand. It's going to get skeleton post data, and then on the update loop of the OBR skeleton, that's when uh, we're going to adjust all of the positions, uh, all of the, sorry, all of the rotation of our bones based on that. So this is kind of, this is kind of the plan. Uh, just a quick mention, uh, the clones uh, in this example are actually like, so uh, ideally they are like empty vessels. They don't have any like logic constantly running on them. We want them to be uh, simple um, because we just want them to reflect what the actual player is doing. So the plan is this, the obvious hand is going to, uh, for the local player, the OBR hand is still going to feed you the data to its own skeleton, so nothing is going to change in that regard. Then we're going to send the data of our bones across the network. We're going to receive it, we're going to package it, and then we're going to apply it to the bones of the, to the skeleton of our clone. 